American whiskey is part of the American experience. From the earliest American settlers to George Washington to the current worldwide whiskey explosion. This wonderful moment of whiskey, premium bourbon has become the fastest growing category within spirits. We've got this whole new generation of consumers and drinkers. The popularity and demographics of whiskey and drinkers have gone from your dad and your grandfather to everybody. Now, 21's on up are drinking bourbon now worldwide. Everybody's wanting it. We're seeing consumers come from all over the country and even different parts of the world. Um, and it's a more educated consumer. I think it's really a special opportunity for American distillers to be appreciated around the world now the way they should be. And Discus is really leading the charge. Behind me is a warehouse storing 20,000 barrels of whiskey. There are hundreds of these warehouses around the United States. It's amazing how many people come and make a pilgrimage to see how bourbon's made. Two of the most popular kinds of American whiskey are bourbon and Tennessee whiskeys. Bourbon comes with some very strict guidelines. It can be made anywhere in the United States, but it has to be made in the United States. If you're drinking American whiskey or rye, you're drinking something that came from a beautiful American farm like this. One of the strengths of American whiskey is that the way the law is defined, you can really trust American whiskeys to be all natural. Our federal government tells you how you have to make bourbon. And that's what makes it unique. There's no going outside or playing in a gray area. It's black or white. Here's what it is. It has to be made in the United States. It has to be at least 51% corn. Corn's got to be the majority grain. It really stays true to where it's from. It's like a corn whiskey. All your flavor needs to come from your barrel or your grains. We've got to use a brand new barrel when we age it. And these new barrels need to be charred. That new oak barrel delivers an incredible amount of vanillas and clove and spice and all these wonderful flavors that make American whiskey so beautiful. American whiskeys are largely defined by the fact that we only use new barrels. The barrel is a huge ingredient in the process. I mean, it can add up to 30 to 50 percent of the flavor, depending on who you ask. 100 percent of our color comes from those barrels. We can't add any color to the bourbon. We age the bourbon in these charred white oak barrels. Welcome to my home. <laughs> Bourbons that we let lay longer in those barrels get more interaction with the wood and it gets more color and the flavor gets more complex. Tennessee whiskey fits all the bourbon requirements but adds filtration through giant vats of maple charcoal before being put in new oak barrels for aging. American whiskey has a huge influence on whiskeys being made around the world. We only use new barrels after we've used them once. We send them to Canada, to Scotland. You know, they go on to a very long life so it's not wasteful. What makes American whiskey so spectacular, especially in Tennessee and Kentucky, is right here. This is a limestone shelf through which a lot of the water actually passes through and takes out some of the impurities like iron, making the whiskey taste fabulous. You've got to have good water. This Kentucky River right here, it's all limestone water. You've got to have good water, good grains, and good form, and good yeast. Everything plays a very important factor. We're using the exact same water source that we used in the 1800s. People think that the early Scotch-Irish came into Kentucky because of the water. No, that's why they stayed. Our heritage is really due to the limestone water. Our country's heritage and culture is just as much integrated with alcohol as it is with other things. In the founding of the nation, if you look up and down the eastern seaboard, there were rum distilleries from Boston all the way down to Charleston. It starts with that, and then of course our own whiskeys developed the corn liquor and the rye whiskey. So I think it's always been part of the heritage of America. A third small but rapidly growing American whiskey is made with rye as the main grain. This whiskey has a long history in America going back to colonial times. In fact, it was rye whiskey that George Washington made at his Mount Vernon distillery. It is making a huge comeback with bartenders and mixologists since many classic cocktails such as the Manhattan and the Old Fashioned were originally made with rye whiskey. At one point, George Washington had the largest distillery in this part of the world. It really is the heritage, the tradition, the hand craftsmanship that we do here. The export market has come huge. Now it's become a worldwide drink. Oh, we're exporting to 31 countries right now. Just in the last three or four years, we've announced over $200 million worth of expansions. We're seeing consumers come from all over the country and even different parts of the world. He's a huge fan. You never know what accent you're going to talk to when you walk over to the steel house.
American whiskey is not only a celebration of the people who make it, but it's a celebration and an appreciation of the land. It's a celebration of the wood and the water that makes that beautiful freshness of American whiskey. We need a nice drink after those topics.